Without a doubt, you have heard the terms downtown and uptown. In fact, when I was very young, there was a man named Billy Joel, piano player who wrote a song called Uptown Girl. I'm not expecting you to know that song, but I'm telling you that it exists. We're going to use Manhattan, New York City, as our base for understanding the way this terminology works. Of course, Manhattan, New York City at one point was called New Amsterdam, it was founded by the Dutch in 1624 after the Dutch acquired it from the indigenous population. And then in 1664, the British took over Manhattan and they renamed it New York City. This is a map of New Amsterdam, the southern part of Manhattan Island. I realize that this map is going east-west rather than north-south, but that is indeed the southern part of Manhattan Island. And what it looked like at that time that the Dutch controlled it when it was New Amsterdam. And you can see the wall over here. Okay, that wall is no longer there, but there is a street there. Guess what street that is? Wall Street, exactly right. And in fact, Broadway, the very famous Broadway that runs from the southern part of Manhattan Island to the northern part of Manhattan Island was an indigenous trail that ran from south to north along the island. This is Manhattan today. If you look where it says Lower Manhattan down at the bottom, that is where New Amsterdam was at. Now there's nothing really left of New Amsterdam. So there aren't old buildings left from New Amsterdam. It's all been torn down and rebuilt. But you can see Lower Manhattan, then Midtown Manhattan, Upper Manhattan, Harlem, and then Washington Heights. The lower the street numbers are, the further south they are on Manhattan Island. And the higher the street numbers are, the further north they are on Manhattan Island. Now, New York is set up mostly in a grid pattern, north, south, east, west. The streets run east-west, but are numbered from south to north. And the avenues run north to south, but are numbered from east to west. This is why you could be in New York and somebody asks you where you are, and you say, I'm on 45th and 3rd. That means that you're on 45th Street and 3rd Avenue. That's the way people discuss where they are at in New York. Downtown is the lower street numbers. Midtown is the middle street numbers, and you got it, uptown would be the higher street numbers. If you take a look at this photograph, you can see the green arrows pointing at downtown where the new World Trade Center is at. This is also in the area where Wall Street's at. Then you can see the blue arrow pointing at Midtown. If you look carefully, you can see the Empire State Building, which is right in the middle of Midtown. And then you can see the red arrow pointing at Uptown, where you can see that also the architecture uh, goes down. It's not as vertically developed when you get to uptown. It's still a lot of high-rise buildings, but not as big as downtown and midtown. Now, if we look at this map, you can see what I've circled. West 8th Street, West 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, and so on, going from south to north. West because they're on the west side of 5th Avenue. Then you look here, and you can see midtown which would be West 35th, 36th, 37th, but it doesn't have to be West. You know, you can look over here and these streets are gonna be East, right? You can see East 37th, East 38th, East 40th, and so on. Because they're East of Fifth Avenue or West of Fifth Avenue. And you can see up North of Central Park, look what's happening now, 114th Street, 115th Street, 117th, 118th. So they're going from South to North. When you're on the very, very low numbers, you're downtown, then you go to midtown, then you go to uptown. And even the subway system, the north-south trending part of the subway system, which is most of it, runs like that also. You're either going downtown or you're going uptown. That's the way most of the subway system is working in New York City. I told you before that when cities are organized, they generally begin to sprout up around something. In the United States, that is almost never religion. However, with Mormon cities, which is mostly in Utah and some amounts of Idaho, Wyoming, Arizona, Nevada, those states there, particularly in Utah, though, indeed, what happened was the cities were set up around religious structures. And Mormon urban organization is hyper-organized. They use a classic grid system. And the streets radiate outward from the city center. Usually this is the main LDS, which is Latter-day Saints temple in the city or the town. And then the streets are going to radiate north, south, east, west. 
And classically, these blocks were set up in 660 foot square blocks. So 660 feet on each side. And they were designed for self-sufficiency and to be self-supporting. This has to do with the history of the Mormons and the relationship with other people in the United States, which was in the beginning, uh, not very good. So you can see, this is a, a diagrammatic look at that, but you can see that they're set up to be agriculturally self-sufficient so that people could support themselves on the land that they were living on. And by doing that, they wouldn't have to rely on the rest of the country. This is Salt Lake City. You can see this is the main Mormon temple right here. And you can see the whole city is set up along this grid pattern, mostly in these 660 square foot blocks. Now this is Provo, just a little bit to the south of Salt Lake City. And if you look at Provo, now I've circled some things. Notice in red, I circled Center Street, which runs east-west and is literally right in the center of the city. I didn't circle it, but you can see 189th, Highway 189, that runs north-south, okay? And these two things intersect right here, Center Street and Highway 189. And then notice, I circled in green, 100 north, 200 north, 300 north. These are the blocks. The reason it's west 100 is because it's west of 189th Highway 189. And then you can see right here, I circled in black, 100 south, 200 south, 300 south. And what's going on is, of course, all of these that are 100 north, 200 north, and so on, are north of Center Street. All of these that are 100 south, 200 south, 400 south, are south of Center Street. Now notice this, what I circled in blue right here. 100 west, 300 west, 400 west. Now this is south 300 west because it's south of Center Street, but it is in the 300 block west of Highway 189. And then you can see south 700 west, south 800 west. And then if you look over here, I circled in purple. We have 300 east, 500 east, 600 east. And of course, this is south of Center Street. So it's south 300 east. See that? And you can look up here and you can see north 200 east, north 400 east. This is the way most Mormon cities were set up. Very organized. And as I said, in most cases, they originate at the temple or the church and then they move outwards from there.